I'm 49. And I don't want to skip any moment of doing what I like to do in my life. I enjoy to have a glass of wine, I enjoy to have a nice food, I enjoy to have a cigar, I enjoy to have a nice company, and uh, be identified with something. How painful has the rehab been? It's been a little tough because I missed a lot of very good tournaments, and that is more, is more painful than my leg. You know? Really? <laughs> of course. I'm professional golf, and that's what I want to do. Just keep competing. And maybe when you, you got the injury when you are 25 or 30 years old, you have a long future in you. I'm from, but uh, I feel like at my date is I'm coming, and this injury is taking me away from the competition. The fact that you've been out of competition, has that made you more competitive? Has that made you more passionate about being out it's there? Made, it's, made, it's made me more determined that I'm just going to still play golf. I love it. I love the game. Did you find yourself training harder now because you were injured, because you had to be in the gym? I, I work a little bit more hard, more mainly for my leg. The rest is, uh, I'm very flexible and I work is always uh, working the flexibility through my life. That has helped me to keep long on the time here. I don't like going to the gym myself. I hate to go to the gym, I have to be honest. But I've been, I've been working a lot of the last 10, 15 years because I know that if I am not keep update myself, I cannot be competing. If I could guarantee that you would win a major, but you'd have to sacrifice drinking, smoking, and eating whatever you would like, what would you do? Bye bye, Major. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Freedom is so nice. And I do what I like in my life. And I kind of don't want to say that. If the Major is coming, then it will be wow. But if the Major is not coming, I still do what I like in my life. There is many good players who win a lot of tournaments and don't win, and don't win Majors. You know? That don't mean that you are a bad player. That means that the probably isn't. It's not in your side. You have to take that way. I have a, a 19 victories in, uh, on the European Tour. If I, if I don't win a major, it's not the end of the world. Take but I part. will keep trying to win a major. <laughs> never give up, right? I never give up as far as I can play. You know? What's next? Have you thought about competing on the Champions Tour? To me, I will keep in, competitive, uh, in competition with uh, the young people. As far when I play well, I can win a tournament. But if I, when you play well and you just finish 20th, it's time to go. It's going to take a long time for that. Eh? Miguel, when you stand here looking at this school of golf, how proud are you with this and how, how happy are you with, with this project? I'm very happy too. I mean, one of the main things I got in my uh, is to try to get the golf close to the people, no? And uh, then I make a disc golf school here, it's a pitch and pub with a nine, nine hole par three. We're here at the driving range, but obviously you also have nine holes, and I hear you have a favorite. Yes, I'm going to show you now. Let's go. We're, we're going to go to the hole number seven. Okay, Pedro, I know that you are having a laughing like so many people laughing at me when I warm up. But you know, to play here in this golf, and in this hole especially, <laughs> you have to warm up like me. All right, let's do it. Bailando la ambada. <laughs> a little bit for the curves. Eh? Down, down, you hear a rip? down. Eh? Up, 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 a little slow down. All right, the warm up's done, the ball's down. Take us through this hole. Your design was like the, the 12th at, at Augusta. Yeah, I tried to make something similar to the 12th of Augusta no, in this hole. No? And uh, I put just the water in front there. Mm -hmm. As you see, the, the green is yeah. a, a little bit like a sashis is going from the left to right in diagonal there. You got the bunker in front, right in the middle of the green. And then the two bunkers behind, you can see. You cannot see the flowers. We see the flower at the moment because uh, we just put in there. They need to grow in now and, uh, and cut in the, the, the flowers. And then with the time, you will see it's going to be beautiful. Miguel, it was a pleasure to be with you here in Malaga today. The school is looking great. And uh, good luck with the comeback and the rest of the season, OK? Thank you very much. It's, an, uh, it's a pleasure to talking with you guys. And uh, well, I will see you very soon. Yeah, eh? see you out there and, on course. Uh, and, and there we are. I'm recovering myself and uh, get ready. The mechanics back. <laughs>